all right so where are we okay so this one here okay and welcome back uh, we are going to continue this one and um, we're gonna play with this uh, math grid list so uh, this I'm not sure if this is gun going to be a responsive uh, thing okay so let's go to material material here let me put this one here add that one here home okay so that's it all right so so what is this thing so okay so let's just manually add this I'll play with this okay so here um, we're going to create a dev oh no not a dev let's just copy this okay so that one and we will remove this and this one here where uh, we are going to how many columns do we have like we want to have only two columns and row span is one style background so that is an angular thing and yeah, this one here okay so this one oh, okay so this one is raw one okay so let's add that uh, let's see what our layout looks like so row one okay so we need that style style that background So style it background green green here. Right, so this one here. If we don't put any row or span, okay. So I'm assuming so this is its row height. What is this row height? Okay, so maybe the height of each row. So if I if we do it like that, okay. So fifty here, okay. So what if we put twelve here? Okay. So how how does it determine the width? Uh, I don't know yet. Okay, so row one, and we will add row two. So when we item one, and then item two here. So this item two is orange. Okay, so why is it on one row now? Columns two, columns two, row span. Uh, what if we don't put row span here? What will happen? How are they going? Uh, column span. Nah, yeah, because the, we have a column span. So if we don't put any column span here, and this one here, they should be on top of each other? No. Why? Let's see here, grid title. Okay, so okay, uh, because this one is each column, I guess. So until it's five, so one, two, th three, four. So this is red, and this is um, yellow. So they are gonna be like this. All right, so if we add more here, 
the item five, six, seven, and eight will now be on uh, here. Okay, so if we are going to merge one and two, so we will remove this. So one plus two here, but the call span here it would be two. Okay, see that? See that magic there? So if we change this to orange, uh, red, orange, red, All right. And if we want to merge this three and three and seven, we can do that. Three and seven. Okay. So, um, how do we do that? Raw span is two. And are we going to remove this? So this is now item 3 plus 7 here and delete this thing. Okay, yeah, I think it's good. Now we have to change the background on this one here. So this, so that we can determine which one switch all right okay so that's it uh, that is how to play with this thing okay and then if we will change the row height to um, 300 bx so it's gonna be to be like that mm -hmm. right cool now we can add the forms that we want to here. So if we remove this background here, so, okay, and we start adding the the fields, but let's check first if it's yeah, that is not responsive. The grid list is not responsive. Can we make it responsive? How about this one here? Yeah, is it responsive? Oh, yep, nope. So, Angular Material Responsive Grid List. Do we have that? Uh, you have to set the calls attribute of grid dynamically depending on the screen with had to decide on which with okay mm. so the calls all right okay so if if this is gonna be dynamic then we will um, update on response on resize so okay so is this a actual thing on resize is there an on resize thing here ah window that resize here okay so window that resize uh, can we put this one here on resize and then something here console that log event okay so we can just okay let's do this console Right, so yeah, that's it. We can we can control this, but I will have to stop it for now. Um, so that is the material grid, uh, mat grid list, and we can be able to. And in the next video, we'll just make it um, dynamic. We'll try to play with how to make it responsive. Right, cool. Thanks. Bye.